Lulu's Temple is an action adventure game with platforming, a little bit of combat, some exploration, and some light puzzle mechanics. Your first question must be, how do I play if it's this dark? And the game is this dark the entire time. You only have that torch and your gun kind of lights up some stuff and you can kind of see the enemies in the shadows with their eyes. You do get to light the torches as I'm doing here. I will get into all of that very shortly. Before that, I must mention, this is the same developer that made Apple Slash, another game I covered on the channel. You should definitely look at the video. And I enjoyed that one. I, spoiler alert, enjoyed this one as well. And so let's get into what the heck you're doing and how you get through this darkness. The goal of the game is to reach the end, but to do that, you have to climb this pyramid by going upstairs and collecting a key. As you can see, I'm trying to throw my torch up there on the left that you have to collect that key to unlock a door that will lead to stairs that you can go to the top. As you reach the top, it becomes more and more difficult with ridiculous enemies like this frog that's trying to lick me and pull me in. Further up, there's even more enemies that are trying to shoot things at you with traps that are obviously trying to kill you. And I died a million times. But you should know that dying isn't that big of a deal. The save points are fairly generous. And there's one right after something important happens, like reaching a new floor, there'll be a save point. After obtaining a key, there will be a save point. So it's a challenge but not too difficult to keep trying. And as you get better, you'll overcome the difficulties. All of this is great with the final crescendo of the game being a boss and something else I don't want to spoil. It all works very well. I was slightly challenged, but not too challenging that I wanted to stop playing. Note for something so small, the developer crammed a lot of content into this game. I was constantly surprised that there was more and more to see as I kept climbing the pyramid. I don't, I don't want to raise expectations too high because it is definitely a budget game, but for a budget game, I was very impressed. Now I did mention that boss and the, all the enemies, but your true enemy must be the darkness. It is suffocatingly dark in this game. You can barely see anything that's going on around you unless there's a light source or you have your torch. The torch is the central part of the game. You can throw it to light up other light sources. You're going to throw it so you can see what's happening ahead of you. You can throw it to hit enemies. What I'm trying to get at is I think you can beat the whole game by using only the torch. There is a catch to that because if you throw something and you still want to use it, you have to go get it. And luckily, as you can see, the scarab will go get the torch for you. Extremely handy. Thank you, scarab, for saving my life. Other than that, the combat is good, but there's really nothing to speak of here. You can throw the torch to hit enemies. You can shoot your gun to hit them from afar away. Nine times out of 10, the enemies are not the reason you're going to die. It's because they're there along with other traps and the combination of everything and not being able to see is going to kill you. So the combat is more of a nuisance than anything else. I imagine it was designed like that because of the darkness. You don't want anything too challenging while someone's trying to navigate in a place they can't see anything. Anyway, that was me taking these stairs up to the next level. You'll see a save point right after that. Again, the save points are after anything major, and so death isn't that big of a deal. I'm probably more annoyed from this hand taking my torch so I can't see anything, and being able to see things is very important in life. One final thing to note for Lulu's Temple, and it's the achievements for the game. Now, I don't normally cover achievements because they seem secondary to being a good game, but in this case, they will be key to extracting the most out of the game. There are two in particular I'm talking about. Beat the game in under 25 minutes and beat the game without taking a single hit. Both good challenges. And since the game is so short, they could be completed without too much trouble, which is why I think you'd want to go for them. Lulu's Temple is good with just a single run. You could play the game straight through one time and enjoy it. That's what I did. I don't plan to go for these achievements, 
but sometimes people get in their mind that they want to have this giant experience with every game, and this is just a really small game. So if you want to find something else to get out of it, you could go for these challenging but obtainable achievements. I do wish the developer would add a couple of options to always keep a timer on the screen or die in one hit to make the achievements not easier to get, but those options would be nice to have if you were trying to get them. Overall, Lulu's Temple is fantastic. I love when developers try something new and it works. I thought the game was going to be absolutely unplayable, it being this dark when I first started playing. But the developer was careful crafting the mechanics around the darkness and making it so it wasn't impossible for the player to make it through. So this is a neat little indie game I definitely recommend. I had a lot of fun, some really cool enemies, some really cool mechanics, fun art style, just everything you kind of want in an indie game. Oh no, we've reached the end of the video. You should subscribe to this channel because you like it so much.